Hello my dearest friends, welcome back to our channel, my name is Katya and today I've prepared a video about another hour provincial Russian trip. I'm going to tell you about the two days of traveling in the Volgograd region. It was a lovely trip that happened because of my elder children. I'm sure that you remember that they are young track and field athletes. That is why we often have to go with them to different competitions in other towns. Nowadays we do it mostly in our region because of all the restrictions. Anyway, it's not so easy, but I like such trips very much. And it's a good chance for me to show you some interesting places deep in provincial Russia. So let's go and welcome to Frolova! Гриша, все внимание! Молодец. My family and my niece and nephew are going to explore the park, the huge circle. I'm sure that you all remember it already. I feel two blocks from here. Two. Warming up there, my husband Grisha and my nephew Ruslan are walking here, and the parents of another girl of Nina's friend are walking here and cleaning the road because unfortunately you can find so much garbage here, even some broken bottles or something like this, and it's you know it's just horrible because the children are going to run fast and they can fall here and many things can happen anyway Сергей, <laughs> she's crying. Listen to him. Russian to the rich. I don't know why, but this time Nina is extremely nervous. She's crying, everyone is trying to calm her down. It's so hard. I don't know what to do with her. Because she's not in a good mood and she, she's not ready to run. Everyone, everyone is trying to help her. It was unexpected. We know that Nina is very emotional, but she always manages to cope with her feelings. We tried to support her, but didn't understand what was going on. We managed to find the answer only in the evening of that day. It turned out that she had been ill for some time already, and that was the reason of her bad mood. I said, Sanya, come on, Sanya, run, don't, don't make your mom nervous. Давай, 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 еще, еще, еще. Таня. Таня didn't make me nervous. He's our hero as Grisha is finally asleep and we are having fun here, just chatting, having a picnic and walking from one place to another. 
That is all for Frolova. But tomorrow we have competitions in commission again at the stadium of commission. We've never been there. And I think that now we should go there. Or maybe we will do something here. Or maybe we will find something interesting here. I do not know. But stay tuned. See you tomorrow. И первое место Семенов Александр. We left Frolova and headed to Commission. The distance between these two towns is 130 kilometers. It is about 80 miles. But they are both much farther from my hometown Volgograd. So we rented a room in a hotel in Commission, managed to find it, leave there our belongings, and then to head to the center of the town to find a canteen there and have dinner. It could be extremely hard to return back home from Frolova and then to go to Commission next day early in the morning. That is why we were already there and we were going to eat, return back to our hotel room and then just to have some rest. At the end of our day we went to search for the local shawarma. This is one of the most popular kinds of the Russian street food. Shawarma, as we call it here in Volgograd, is a mixture of meat or beans with vegetables such as tomatoes, cucumbers, spicy carrots and cabbage. With several sauces wrapped into unleavened wheat flatbread and it's really the best thing that you can eat when you are tired and hungry like a wolf. Then we returned to our hotel and now I'm going to show you the room that we rented for one night in commission. I want to make a short room tour here. This is our hotel room, a wardrobe where you can put your clothes and there are some towels, a blanket, Sanya's t-shirt not t-shirt, but sign shirt. Yeah, this is our sofa. We are going to sleep here. Grisha is already here. Привет, Григогус! Grisha? Wow, Grisha is finally free. He is so happy about it. These are all our belongings. So many things. Here we can drink tea. You have everything you need. By the way, this is amazing run. This is our team. This is Nina and Sanya's sofa. They are watching TV. There is a fridge and a teapot here. And this is our bathroom. This is our shower. Someone has already taken the first towel. This is our toilet, a mirror and such a such an unusual, such a creative sink. You can see its color. Hmm, you have some toilet paper, some soap, maybe something here. No, nothing here, but still you can use this soap. And you can see that uh, it has such an unusual roof. We are on the third floor, it's the upper floor of this building. There is a phone, you can call to the reception and ask something from the cafe. You can order drinks, food and so on. Uh, air conditioning system, such, a, such an unusual lamp. Another one. I also want to show you this roof once again. Hmm, such such a typical old-fashioned hotel room. But rather okay for this price. It, its price is 1,700 rubles for one night. And it's rather okay for our family. Two other rooms and some rooms for the stuff. A huge, huge wardrobe and rooms. Such a crazy, crazy ladder. I can't even film here because I'm scared to fall down. <laughs> Nina wanted me to film here with this beaver. Да, прямо настоящий. 
Это Бабюр. Бабюр. Пойдем не на пойдем. Вы можете найти что-то экстраординарное в таких отелях. Это мистер Бивер. Надо ходить в комнату. Such a huge ship. Such a big beautiful ship. And this is the whole the hotel. At the same time it's the local restaurant. We had breakfast in the restaurant of the hotel that was finally empty because on the night when we came there there was a very noisy party in the restaurant and it was the main reason why we couldn't eat there and couldn't even order some food to our hotel room all the staff was too busy there I wanted to film the yard of the hotel as it was rather nice and now I'm going to show it to you This is the yard of the hotel, a funny positive doggy, fat doggy. Here you can order some shashlik, it is cooked here. There are two such things where you can see it, such beautiful grass. This is the hotel and our room was somewhere there under the roof. That is why it was hot there. And uh, frankly speaking, it was not very cozy, but anyway, it was okay for one night. Here is the beach. There are the pools. There are two pools in another and a banya. This is a banya and two pools. But yesterday there was a party there, but we wanted to visit it. Such a funny boat, the beach of the hotel. And this is the river Volga. You can see some people. There are men uh, catching, trying to catch some fish. And this is commission, the new district of commission. Uh, one port, river port, and there is another river port somewhere there. A very beautiful view, fantastic. And we are finally at the parking zone of the stadium Avangard in Commission. We can already hear some music. You can see that there is even the zone for those ones who throw the. Oh, I do not know how to call this equipment. This is the parking zone and Commission is a very old town there are a lot of such beautiful old uh, houses I can already see some children running women out <laughs> oh my god just look at this thing here you can find some announcements about the, the local theaters Kamyshinsky Dramatiski Theater so oh, interesting so unusual It is the entrance to the stadium. You can see the old buildings commissioned. They are here uh, from the times before the Great Patriot War, from the beginning of the century and the whole city. But you can see this ugly building near these ones. Two storied buildings, beautiful merchants, houses and so on. New Kurich. Do not smoke. Oh, there are children running. So interesting. I've never been to this stadium. Sunny once visited it, but I've never been here. And I can see that the main problem is that the surface of the stadium is... Oh my God, just like on the roads for cars. Beautiful Soviet stadium. Just like everywhere in the Volgrad region, here you can travel and see a lot of beautiful Soviet places, Soviet stadiums and so on. Потом, отработав один вид, подходите на другой. Не волнуйтесь, вас допустят. Every time when I see such students, I feel happiness because my children and we have bad conditions to train. Then here, far from the original center, 
you can see that every, the surface is it's disgusting and it's not good to run. Another hour ago, the leader now. Our oh, team is going to collect all the medals here, I think, just like always. I wanted to tell you about Nina because I think that I already started telling you the storm. It turned out that at night Nina had high, high temperature and it was the main reason of her tragedy yesterday. It was the main reason of her behavior, of her tears. We didn't know it, but now, <laughs> now she's happy. But she's ill. Just like always, when something weird is happening to a child, be prepared for his or her illness. Maybe my elder children are already too big, that's why I have started forgetting this truth about having kids. It's good there is an ambulance here, just like at every such competition. The level of this competition is rather high. It's a regional commission competition, you know, all this towns in the region they have their own district and each district has its own competition oh nothing Dagonia the hymn of our Olympic Games one of the most popular songs of Russian tattoo <laughs> those ones who live in this apartment block on the second on, on the third floor they can watch different sports games from their balcony. The view in the stadium is amazing for them. And of course, I'm sure that their children are athletes because they can visit the local sports school. It's situated here. <laughs> Sadik has never run 300 meters with barriers. It's not his discipline. Давай, давай, давай! Давай, блин, давай! Еще спринт выдавай! Давай, 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 давай! Давай, 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 чуть-чуть еще, давай. Давай, 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 давай. Молодец. Все, давай. Юнов Александр, город Волгоград, финишировал первым в третьем забеге юноши беги на 300 метров с барьерами. Молодец. Не твоя дисциплина, но молодец. Санис, финал активитетс. 1000 meter. There are only four participants for 1000 meter and more eight participants, but they are not participating officially because they are much elder. Sani, давай, 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 давай! Бежать, бежать, Сань, давай! Давай, давай, давай! But this guys are... Давай, Саша, давай, 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 Саш, давай, 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 прям все, мы давай, давай, спринт, давай, 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 молодец. Now we're going to see the real. <laughs> Everyone is going to put on the Третье место. Беги на 300 метров с барьерами. В открытом первенстве городского округа город Камышин по легкой атлетике среди юношей и девушек 2008-2009 года рождения занимает Семенов Александр, город Волгоград. Тренер Кухарчук Олеся Владимировна, результат 55 и 2. Второе место в этом виде занимает Лукьяненко Александр, город Камышин, результат 55-0. И победителем беги на 300 метров с барьерами становится Астамытный Артений с результатом 54 и 5. Город Волгоград, тренер Кухарчук Олеся Владимировна. Поздравляем юношей. Frankly speaking, I'm already tired. Two days of competitions in different towns, rather far from Volgograd, in 200 kilometers from Volgograd. 
it is hard. But this is a typical weekend of the parents of young athletes. This is what's going to be the spring when we return back here. <laughs> the first and the second place is belong to our girls from our team. Первое место в эскафетном беге, 4 по 100 метров, представители города Волгограда. Семенов Александр. Молодцы. Надя Александр. Илю Бедор. <смех> О, Семен, от мелкий выгодно. <смех> Все помещаете. Призеров наших соревнований. Желаем вам успехов в ваших дальнейших стартах. И ждем вас снова к нам на соревнования. Спасибо вам, ребята. Вам спасибо большое. This is the legendary girl with the watermelon. The mission is treated like the watermelon capital of Russia and of course of the whole region. And there is even a fest in August about watermelons. The Volgograd district watermelon fest. So nice. So beautiful. I like it so much. I like such things. I'm sure you know it. And this was finally all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.